were you raised white? I, I don't even remember what form I saw that on. I didn't pay much attention to it then, but I got to thinking later. What an odd way to phrase things. Were you raised white? And so I thought about that some. I think I just checked yes on the form because, well, it's pretty obvious I'm Anglo. And so, but I, the more I thought about it, I realized I, I wasn't raised white. I, I never remember a discussion in anybody influential in my upbringing saying, now you're white. This means you have to, you should. Here are some problems because you're white. Here are some benefits because you're white. Here's how you live up to being white. Now, I know some people in some races may have to have some of those discussions. I'm not making political arguments here. I'm just saying I never had any of that. But, you know, I, I, I did have discussions about how I was how to be raised. You know what my discussions were? They were things like this. We're raising you to be a Christian. Your identity is as a believer in Jesus. And I remember discussions about how to be a Christian man, how to be a, a man who follows Jesus, how to eventually be a Christian husband or a Christian father. And that's the kind of things I tried to learn and needed to learn and wanted to learn. Just never did think about other identities. Never had discussions about my economic identity, my national identity, my racial identity. We were pretty much grounded in your identity as a believer. And so here's where I, I've thought about that a lot. If you're a Christian, I want to be sure we're raising our children and that we're thinking in terms of what our real identity is. And our identity is found in Jesus. Uh, that famous passage in Galatians 2.20 I've been crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live. Yet not I, but Christ lives in me. And the life I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. So for my kids, for my grandkids, I want their identity to be as a Christian. So if you're stressed by all the identity politics and debates and worries, I'd tell you, you know, you can find an identity that'll be here long after all the national identities are gone. An identity that doesn't depend on your race, in fact, doesn't see race. Jesus doesn't respect those kind of things. So I'd encourage you as Christians to be sure we know our identity as non-Christians is secret. And if you say, I don't want any part of Jesus, your religion, well, then I I guess you'll have to find your identity in your economic status or your national status or your racial status. And the more we try to identify by those things, the more divided we will be. And so I'm thankful that nobody ever told me my important identity was a lower middle class white American. I was always told my identity was a Christian man, husband, father, now pops. So let's be sure we know who we are in the ways that really matter.